So let us copy fast and then we will discuss the problem. Okay, let us discuss. So this question says we have initial sample of Fe2O3 plus Fe3O4 plus some inert material. Now the weight of the initial sample is at gram. What is my target? My target is to find percentage of Fe2O3 and percentage of Fe3O4 in this given sample. So what we are doing is we are titrating this sample, we are treating this sample in the presence of acid with excess of Ki and the iodine liberated and some F, all of the Fe iron that forms Fe2 plus. So we have two, two kind of thing that is happening here. All iron goes to Fe2 plus and I minus goes to I2. That is the thing we have happening here. Now what we have done is this solution is diluted to 50 ml and the 10 ml of solution is taken. And the whatever the iodine you have in the 10 ml solution, that is the liberated iodine you can call, is titrated by 7.2 ml 1 m Na2H2O3 solution. Now we have taken another 25 ml sample of this solution and we have extracted the iodine. This means now this solution only contains Fe2 plus. After extraction, this 25 ml solution only contains Fe2 plus. And this Fe2 plus is titrated with 4.2 ml 1 mkmno 4 solution in acidic medium. Now you have to calculate the concentration of so mass percentage of Fe2O3 and Fe3O4. So let us say initially I have so this is a slightly tricky problem. So this is x mole. So I have Fe2O3 x mole. And Fe3O4 is basically mixture of equimolar mixture of FeO plus Fe2O3. Are you getting? So what I am saying is Fe3O4 is a equimolar mixture of FeO plus Fe2O3. So if I have bimole of Fe3, Fe3O4, and this means I will have bimole of FeO and bimole of Fe2O3. This is because this is a equimolar mixture of this plus this. So mole of this is equal to this plus this. Equimolar mixture. So 
So if I mix this mole of this and this mole of this, I will get this mole of this. That is equimolar. Now you see what is the oxidation state of iron in this case. So Fe in this case is 2 plus and in this case iron is 3 plus and in this case Fe2O3 iron is 3 plus. So what is happening? When you are doing the first reaction, I minus liberates I2. So you have first half reaction, I minus 2 I2, you can always write. And the second reaction that is happening, you have all of the iron that forms Fe2 plus. This means Fe3 plus forms Fe2 plus. Now if you balance this equation by adding one electron, and you multiply this equation by 2 and then you add so you will have 2 Fe3 plus plus 2 I minus you will have I2 plus 2 Fe2 plus are you getting or not so this you have now basically to know the mole of Fe2 plus and I2 we are doing two titration. So in this case we can know the mole of Fe2 plus. For that we have this titration Fe2 plus with KMnO4. So what will happen KMnO in if you see this concern. So let us focus here. So let us call this reaction. So whatever reaction happening here this is just step 1 and whatever reaction happening here is let us say call this reaction as step 3 and whatever reaction that is happening that is titration 2. So this is we have focused on titration 1. Now let us focus on titration 3. So what is happening in titration 3? Fe2 plus goes to Fe3 plus because this is the oxidizing agent and KMnO4 in acidic medium goes to Mn2 plus. So you have reactions Fe2 plus will get oxidized to Fe3 plus and KMnO4 minus and this will goes to Mn2 plus plus 4H2O plus 8H plus plus 5E. So this we will have. Are you getting? So what you have to do is you have to multiply this equation by 5 and add. So we will have 5 Fe2 plus plus MnO4 minus plus 8H plus and you have to multiply this equation by 5 so you will have 5 Fe3 plus and then Mn2 plus plus 4H2 are you getting or not so let us copy this one ok so let me remove this space so now I have this balanced equation now I know the mole of MnO4 minus so you see in titration you have taken 4.2 ml 1 m so I know the mole of MnO4 minus so this is 4.2 ml 1 m so mole of MnO4 minus will be 4.2 into 1 so this is 4.2 millimole are you getting so if I know the mole of MnO4 minus I know basically mole of Fe2 plus so what is the mole of Fe2 plus so 5 into 4.2 millimole are you getting so I know mole of Fe2 plus and this is in 25 so we have taken in 25 ml solution so the original Fe2 plus will be twice because the original solution is 50 ml so total Fe2 plus I can say that is 2 times 5 into 4.2 millimole so this is the Fe2 plus you will have and now this is a millimole are you getting or not? So I can write 10 into 4.2 millimole. So that is basically 42 millimole. So this is the molimole of Fe2 plus you have. Now let us equate this Fe2 plus. I can write in terms of x and y. So what is the mole of Fe3? So you see what is happening. Fe2 plus initially you have here. Now in the first reaction when you are doing this kind of reaction in this case only Fe3 plus goes to Fe2 plus so what is the total Fe2 plus you have that you will have so Fe2 plus that will come from here that is y mole and from here also you will have some Fe2 plus 
you see one mole of compound will give you two mole of iron three plus are you getting or not so you see in this reaction so this means you will get two mole of fe2 fe3 plus so that is bimole so two bimole so you see you will have two bimole of fe3 plus that will come from here and two x mole of fe3 plus that will come from here so what is the total mole of fe3 plus that is two x from here and two by from here so total mole of fe3 plus that is 2x plus 2 by are you getting that is the mole you see let us again illustrate the same thing you have by mole of this so one mole will give two mole of fe3 plus so you will have two by mole and from here you will have 2x mole so this is 2x plus 2 so what is the mole of fe2 plus the same 2x plus 2 by because coefficient is 2 coefficient is 2 and also you have some mole of fe2 plus due to this in mixture because this has been not oxidized initially this was present so what is the total mole of fe2 uh, plus this plus this plus by also this means 2x plus 3 by so 2x plus 2 by plus this by because this was originally so this was the fe2 plus that was originally present so i can say total fe2 plus bars 2x plus 2 by so 2 ah, sorry 2x plus 3 by are you getting or not and this should be equals to 42 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole so i have one equation now i need one other equation and that i will give from iodine titration so you see the last titration you have here in this case so you see what is the mole of iodine you will get you have 2 mole of fe3 plus and then I will liberate it is 1 mole. So 2x plus by will give you x plus by mole of iodine. Are you getting or not? So mole of iodine liberated should be mole of I2 should be x plus by. Are you getting? And mole of iodine can also be found using this titration. So it says Na2S2O3 plus I2 titration. So let me write first this titration. I think all of you remember this titration. Na2S2O3 plus I2 and this will give you in a 2s406 plus 2nai are you getting so you have to multiply this side by 2 also now I think this equation is balanced yeah now you see you have mole of Na2S2O3 7.2 milliliter and 1m so you will have 7.2 millimole of Na2S2O3 this means I2 will be 3.6 millimole because 2 react with 1 so this is the mole of I2 and the mole of I2 is X plus by so now I know X plus by is nothing but now again this is for 10 ml so original I have to multiply by 5 also so this will be so total mole of I2 this multiplied by 5 so total mole of I2 because I have taken only 10 ml solution so 3.6 into 5 millimole so this means x plus by is 3.6 into 5 millimole so 3.6 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole now I have to solve for x and y so so 3.6 into 5 I think you can see so 3.6 into 5 and this comes out to 18 so this is 18 so x plus by is 18 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole and you have another equation that is 2x plus 3 by is equals to 42 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole so let us subtract these two equations let us multiply by this 2 2x plus 2 by that is 36 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole so if if I subtract, so I will have y is equals to and 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole. Are you getting? So what is y? So y is basically mole of Fe3O4. So beta of Fe3O4 will be this multiply, multiplied by molecular weight. And molecular weight is given that is 232. So what this value comes out to be? So let me check. So 6 into 232, 6 into, I think you can also see 6 into 232 and this divided by 1000. 
so 1.392 so this will be 1.392 gram so what is the percentage of fe304 so percentage will be 1.392 divided by 8 because the original sample was 8 gram and into 100 so what this value comes out 1.392 divided by 8 divided by 8 is equals to and to 200 so around 17.4 percent now similarly you can solve for x and then you can find percentage of FEO in this case there is imp impurities that is inert also present so this plus this can't be 100 this plus this plus this will be 100 so you have to find the uh, x value also and then you can find what the percent is are you getting or not so if you plug this value of y in this equation so by 6 then x will be 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 you can do your calculation so let me do for yourself so y will be and 18 minus 6 that is oh sorry by I know so x will be 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 millimole are you getting what I am doing is I have one equation x plus y is 18 so I am subtracting this 6 you can solve yourself so bit of Fe203 so this will be simply this multiplied by molecular weight so 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 and molecular weight is 160 this will give you in gram so what is this value so let me check so 12 into 160 so 12 into 160 and divided by 1000 so 1 1.92 gram so this comes out to be 1.92 So what is the percentage? So percentage Fe203 this will be 1.92 divided by 8 into 100 so you will have so let me check this value 1.92 divided by 100 oh sorry 8 so this is 24 percent So now you can basically find percentage of impurities also. So you see basically this is a quite good problem. One important point we have in this problem that is very important that you must know that Fe304 is basically cumulative mixture of FeO plus Fe203. Similarly Mn304 is also the same kind of thing. These oxides are called mixed oxide. Fe304, Mn304 are generally called mixed oxides so these are the mixed oxides you have equimolar mixture of FeO plus Fe203 MnO plus Mn203 similarly you also have Cr2 Cr304 as I remember I have to check this one I am not 100% sure so let us wrap this one ok so what this problem says we have Fe203 Fe304 and inert material so to know what we are doing is we are doing fast reaction with I minus so I minus gets I2 and if I know the mole of I2 and this I2 is liberated only because of conversion of Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus so I2 will give you I2 is the indication of Fe3 plus and Fe2 plus total Fe2 plus if I remove from this total Fe2 plus the Fe2 plus that has been used to form I2 I will get the Fe2 plus that was originally present are you getting or not so these are the ideas inside this problem so quite simple problem we'll discuss the next problem